Good evening to you. I'm Brian Sanders. Today, pastors from North Tulsa and one from Oklahoma City gathered at First Baptist Church with a message of empathy for the Crutcher family and a call for police to improve relations with people of color. Reporter Brian Miller is live in Tulsa with their hope moving forward after Officer Betty Shelby's arrest. Brian? Well, the message is simple. They're happy that Officer Betty Shelby was arrested, but they want something bigger to come from this. They want to change the entire culture of how police interact with blacks in this community. We're satisfied up to this point. More than 20 pastors, most from North Tulsa, relieved Officer Betty Shelby is facing charges. We are convinced that the current culture of policing foster bias against black people in general and black males in particular. Ed T's Barbershop in Greenwood. I feel it's a good thing that they did something to keep the town from getting burnt down. People are talking about how this case rocked the black community. All I feel is police need to just stop putting their hands on them guns every time they pull people over, man. Everybody not out trying to hurt the police. From the actual details of the incident. Reactions as varied as the people of Tulsa. In Brookside, Chuck Pereira says he's happy the officer was charged, but that's not the case for everyone he's talked with. Most of them are pretty and pretty upset uh, just because our law enforcement in Tulsa makes a lot of right decisions. Um, and, you know, they're continually, uh, I guess, under, under fire. Pastors are pushing for change. Hopeful increasing diversity on the force will help. One of our recommendations, we really believe that community-based policing is extremely important uh, with law officers actually knowing those uh, they serve in the community. I don't think that would work because everybody don't want to communicate with the police. Now, a lot of the pastors say they've been so busy in the aftermath of the Terrence Crutcher shooting and Shelby's arrest. They haven't had a lot of time to sit down and write their sermons just yet. But one thing's for sure, the message this Sunday is it's time for people of all races in Tulsa to come together. Reporting live, Brian Miller, two works for you.